The Panama Canal is motion from north to south and south to north every morning and every night of the year there are people in motion it serves the world as an ever available link always ready for trade that commitment is a challenge to our service for that reason we have joined forces with the world to update the centenary waterway the Panama Canal expansion program is the largest infrastructure undertaking ever for this young republic it is the spearhead of our commitment the tasks are invariably vast we are building and transforming the natural surroundings to add a third lane of transit for our operations one that enables passage by post Panamax vessels across the all-water canal route to date we have completed more than three-quarters of the work required some 35,000 men and women have fused science and passion into the application of the best modern engineering practices. In the sun and under the rain, workers do not halt their mission. They come, go, sacrifice, and give it their all. Some on the field, others in the air. The goal to build the new locks. Wider, deeper, longer. This project constitutes the component with the highest budget and complexity under the program. Today, its shape is clearly defined. More than 3 million cubic meters of concrete have been poured at both construction sites, with some 38 million cubic meters of dirt and rock excavated and transported to designated disposal areas. The hard basaltic rock found in the Pacific site has been mined to produce aggregate for the concrete that will be placed to construct the lock walls and floors. Also, to connect the locks to the new channel, three dams are being built under this project at the north end of the lock complex. Nearby the construction, two barges make daily journeys to the Atlantic site, 80 kilometers north. They carry 40,000 tons of basalt every week, used to prepare the concrete mixes that are shaping the locks. Modern industrial parks exclusively assembled for the construction were installed on each site. There, the rock is crushed, steel cut, and equipment serviced. This great lock has been molded by the hands of thousands of workers. Far beyond local borders, the new gates are being built in Italy. Built of structural steel, each weighs an average of 3,300 tons. The first eight have already arrived, marking the beginning of the project's electromechanical phase. Numerous deliveries with the large elements required by the locks filling and emptying system have arrived on site. The deliveries include a series of last generation hydraulic valves to regulate the flow of water between the water saving basins, the culverts, and the lock chambers. The goal of the canal expansion program is to make the ocean to ocean water route wider and deeper through various dredging projects at the canal entrances and across Gatun Lake. The stretch across the Continental Divide, the famous and sinuous Culebra Cut, is at the last stages of its transformation. Its curves have been straightened and its depth increased. 
the aids to navigation are being realigned for the wider reaches. The new cuts will continue to the new locks on the Pacific side through a new channel separate from the existing canal. Through four dry excavation phases, we've moved thousands of tons of large hills. Having reached the required depth, we are now building a 2.3 kilometer long dam to separate the waters. We have called it Borinquen. The program includes provisions to increase our freshwater reservoirs. The project to increase the maximum operating level of Gatun Lake entails the modification of existing canal structures to take an additional 45 centimeters of water above the existing level of its 423 square kilometer span. This will add some 200 million cubic meters of water to our water flow. The expansion program is also benefiting local forests. More than 600 hectares of land have been reforested as compensation for altering the flora in the areas of the projects. Thousands of animals have been rescued and relocated in protected zones. The scientific horizon widens with the discovery of significant archaeological and paleontological findings in dredging and dry excavation sites. Here, the world found a common ground since the beginning of times. The Panama Canal expansion is widening the stretch where nations meet. The work is conducted by an up-and-coming nation with growth and development as its goal, we are shaping the scientific and technological legacy we will leave this century for the benefit of the world.